What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this October 19th, 2022 date. It is about uh, 1243 p.m. California time. And the latest quake out there shows a 3.0 earthquake on the Earthquake 3D globe. Stand by for just a second here. Uh, in the area of South America, making sure I had all my options here marked as far as the microphone goes and the recording button goes. So just kind of uh, working with a new system here and uh, seeing how it goes. By the way, the live stream for the volcano activity is currently on hold until I can get, uh, well, until I can get my uh, system to power back up. All of a sudden it just kind of went dead overnight. So I'm not for sure what happened. Kind of an odd coincidence there and odd timing but uh all right so what do we got here for newer earthquake activity let's go ahead and check out the latest here from the usgs map uh looking at uh some activity kind of ramping up again here around the philippines uh the remainder of the pacific plate is very spotty at best but most of the movement here has been south uh, of the philippines into the philippine trench uh, one of these deeper earthquakes there at about 387 kilometers here uh, towards the uh, the sea over here. Philippine Trench. That's a pretty deep earthquake there for that region, 4.0. Uh, the latest one looks like a uh, 5.4 in this area overnight time frame. Uh, but if we look at our most recent quakes here across the area, man, it's been... Uh, it's really, really been spotty uh, at best here throughout the entire <laughs> globe. And uh, not for certain what that means, but uh, it can only mean one thing. Things are building up somewhere. 5.6 um, east northeast of the uh, Georgetown area. It looks like a 5.6 there at 10 kilometers deep out into the uh, mid-atlantic ridge a divergent boundary out here also down here into the south sandwich islands area seen a 5.0 earlier this morning time frame um but that's about it that's about it far as anything above 4.0 go uh, goes uh, looking at the microquake level um some activity into california a little spotty here as well folks um not for sure what's going on with the plate tectonics here over the last couple days but it's been winding down uh some movement along the san jacinto fault zone and up here around the ridgecrest area uh, no major swarms to report no unusual activity across california noted uh most of the activity um around our typical spots we got one earthquake up here off of the uh Cascadia subduction zone a 1.7 but that one was coming in there uh, the, the afternoon time frame from yesterday so goodness uh, we're going to verify all this uh, quake activity with the EMSC model too just in case the uh, USGS is not reporting it uh, the USGS is reporting some activity up around the uh, Yellowstone area just some small microquakes about 12 of them listed up here on the map as you can see, uh, situated there across the uh, northwestern corner of the park. I do want to check out Yellowstone uh, thumbnails here real quick and see what we got for the data. And that swarm is still continuing over here around the Maple Creek area. This is the past uh, 24 hours, 24 hours of uh, earthquake activity here. Current UTC time, 1019, uh, right about the 2000. Uh, time frame some microquakes here these don't look like they're over a 2.0 threshold it kind of definitely looks like it's under that uh, looks like a 1.7 is the largest in that uh, cluster of quakes at least uh, that they have listed here 049 I'm kind of curious to see if that's going to be that one no it's not uh, so 049 would be somewhere up uh, somewhere up here in this mix. But there is uh, it's a little on the odd side. 
Oh, UTC time. Hold on a second here. Let's see what we got. 749 UTC time right here for that 1.7. So 749 is going to be this one here uh, right before the uh, 08 time frame there. Just kind of pinpointing some of these quakes. 1.7. So that means definitely all these other ones much, much smaller there. But uh, a, continuant, a continuance of uh, earthquake swarming there at Yellowstone National Park. All right, rest of the map here. A little spotty up in Oregon and Washington as well. Again, no major unrest taking place uh, even across the rest of the country here. A little, little spotty activity throughout Texas, Oklahoma. Also one earthquake here around the New Madrid zone. Uh, this one was coming in late afternoon time frame, so goodness. It's just, uh, it's very quiet. It is extremely quiet here, folks. I mean, even these earthquakes that are listed up here on the map uh, are about ready to drop off of the 24-hour threshold. So, pretty quiet conditions here as we uh, rotate here on this planet. Let's see what else we got here. Um, the EMSC model, let me check here real quick what we got for their uh for their data we got earthquakes canada and these guys were showing some activity up here there's that hand again i, I still can't figure out why it's doing that but um that's all right i'm gonna try to ignore it <laughs> try to ignore it uh, a little bit of activity up around the vancouver area it's hard to pinpoint this thing when it's like that uh 1.7 BC area that one coming in looks like earlier this morning time frame and a couple other smaller quakes listed up here um, across Canada most of the activity has been confined over here to the area uh, right around the northern end of the Cascadia and also portions of the BC area uh, real quick check at Mauna Loa the hazard notification system here uh, and then we'll check uh, the EMSC model HVO daily update for Kilauea and Mauna Loa. We know Kilauea is still continuing uh, its thing there, but uh, Mauna Loa currently not erupting. The magnitudes are getting smaller and the multitudes of them are uh, getting smaller as well, as far as the frequency of these earthquakes. So things are um, getting quiet here as well. I don't believe we have too much uh, in terms of the earthquake activity happening. Uh, on the seismographs here at the Big Island, but we will double check the Mauna Loa area and uh, make sure. See if I can get in here. I'm going to have to do something with this uh, with this arrow. Latest conditions here as we open up the seismograph. There's a couple. Definitely notice a couple up here uh, across the area. Some larger ones too. Those kind of look like they're twos or threes. Uh, in that area. Let me see what we got for the big island. We kind of jumped over them, so we'll verify that activity. Looks like a couple twos here. We got one earthquake up on the northwest summit area, a 2.7. That one coming in at, um, let's see, the UTC time is 1822. So just kind of recent there. 1822 is going to be uh, 1822 is going to be this one. So that's uh, not a big, definitely not a big quake. Uh, but if you guys notice, a lot of the earthquake spikes are gone. Uh, things are just tapering off here completely uh, across the volcano there on the big island. Again, what does it mean? Who knows, folks? We're going to have to keep our eye on it for sure oh uh, let's see i could have swore i had my uh, uh bookmark up here but maybe not still kind of still kind of working this out here folks bear with me i'll have it all settled out tonight uh i don't know if i have the other computer running but uh hopefully so last last earthquakes here of uh, 4.0 and above there's 36 listed up here on the map uh, and we do see that movement around the Philippines plate there. The Philippine plate uh, that is listed up here on the EMSC model as well. 
But aside from that, things are um, pretty quiet as well on this map. There's one earthquake down here south of New Zealand along the Pacific Antarctica Ridge that occurred, looks like, uh, overnight time frame. I don't believe the USGS is showing that one. Um, doesn't look like it down here. So that's one earthquake that's not being reported up there on the map. Let's see what else there is. 1019, some older movement there with the uh, fours. Middle America Trench. A little bit of activity here situated in this zone. Uh, USGS not reporting, so uh, a few areas. But either way, um, even looking at the EMSC model, this is still relatively quiet uh, conditions across the uh, area. Was that earthquake out in the Atlantic? So yeah, just a little spotty, folks. A little spotty earthquake activity and uh, calm. I, I don't know. Calm could be good and it could be bad. Looking at the space weather activity here, the uh, coronal hole number 34 is beginning to rotate towards us with the earth view direction. But the situation here, uh, far as the position goes of the coronal hole is mainly pointing south of our region. And uh, I don't think that's going to play any part in producing any type of storming uh, geomagnetic storming or unrest in the coming days but again we'll watch the data as that comes into view uh, and into play space weather activity is also declining uh, only a 25 percent chance of a sea flare uh, and that goes for all sunspots right now and there's not a whole lot of sunspots 3112 3124 all uh, pretty much looks like they're decaying and disappearing. The latest imagery here shows 3124 even further on the southwestern portion of the of the sun, and we're left with a whole lot of uh, sun that has no sunspots. So that's just how it is entering into a very quiet period now. Are we entering into uh, a quiet period for earthquake activity as well? It kind of seems like it, right? we got quiet earthquakes, uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity, quiet space weather. But uh, there's been times, and we've seen this a lot, when it's quiet on the sun, it gets pretty active uh, as far as plate dynamics go as well. But uh, it may just be one of those things, maybe a, a coincidence here, that uh, both are quiet at the same time. So, um, on that note, uh, not a whole lot to cover here, folks, and that gives me time to uh, attempt out my uh, issues here with my other computer and uh, hope that I can get that running so I can bring up the volcanic uh, part of it. Uh, volcano activity. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have the, hold on a second here. Volcano Discovery is a good site to use for uh, not only earthquake activity, but also for volcanic uh, volcano activity. But a lot of times this site is just overblown with um, ads and stuff. But so far I, I don't see it popping up. Uh, current erupting volcanoes out there. And these are... These are volcanoes that are very typical far as their um, historical eruption stage goes um, there's almost always volcanoes erupting uh, here on this planet at any given time Kilauea has been erupting since last year September uh, down here near the home reef area that's been erupting for a little while minor activity along the Aleutian Trench up there with those volcanoes but uh, again, gonna focus on getting that uh, the other live stream up and running once I get the computer going so we can cover this more uh, and have uh, some options there to view volcanoes in action and also monitor live data coming from those volcanoes uh, at the same time. So I think it's kind of cool. And I was hoping to have it up last night, but you know, things happen and it's just weird. It's really weird. 
All right, guys, I am going to jump off here. I do hope uh, everyone has a great day. Not 100% certain if uh, uh, we're going to see um, a lot of large scale uptick right now in the earthquake department. Uh, but quietness really can't be a good sign because that means strain is definitely building up somewhere. And uh, just a matter of time before we find out what all this quietness means. Till then, folks, have a good day. Stay safe. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on tonight uh, with the update video. Peace out, folks.